My name is Tina Bartolucci. I am 55. I do CrossFit. I try to do four or five times a week. I really felt bad one day and I made an appointment with the doctor and uh, she listened to my lungs and she thought it was upper respiratory. I went to work Monday. I felt the worst I had felt. She tends to be the person that takes care of everyone else around her, so I really encouraged her to go back to the doctor and make sure that someone was watching out for her. I went home and that is the last thing I remember. She'd gone to see her primary care doctor who called me and said, you need to get her to a hospital now. So I rushed her to the hospital. They did a bunch of tests. The internal medicine doctor came in and said, we can't help you here. We need to get you to somewhere who can. So they sent us to UT Southwestern. Acute liver failure is when the liver is not doing the functions that it's supposed to be doing in a patient who has never previously been known to have liver disease. The one thing that we really worry about in these patients is that they will develop cerebral edema. It's really important to anticipate and to plan for all sorts of eventualities. They knew well before I did that she was going to need a transplant and without scaring us made it easy to transition to understanding what was going to happen. Tina actually arrived at 10 or 11 p.m and she was listed by 6 or 7 a.m. And so you can imagine you have someone with fulminant liver failure in the hospital and you see a progressive decline in their liver function, then often their mental status, sometimes their kidney function, and this entire time you're just waiting for that phone call that says, okay, you have a liver available, and it's really a race against time. The alarm went off. This is, this is serious. I sat there and like, What's going to happen? What if she passes away, or what if this doesn't work? We'd start notifying all the other programs in our area in case there was a donor that had already happened or was about to happen, and that's actually how we got a liver for her. It was already assigned to another program. They had a sick patient, but clearly not someone as sick as her. They were very generous and allowed us to use that liver and saved her life. To get a donor like that fast, I am alive because of someone else that made the decision to be an organ donor. She is such a resilient person. She came back in such a shorter time span than I think they've probably ever seen a transplant candidate come back. I had surgery on Thursday and I was discharged on Monday. And the recovery has been phenomenal. I just celebrated one year post-op. Jason and I recently got engaged. We kind of did the in sickness and in health this year. For patients with acute liver failure, in order to have successful outcomes, you have to have a team that works together and works seamlessly. It's expertise across the board, everyone really working together to try to deliver the best care possible for our patients. UT Southwestern saved my life. The team of physicians, the nurses, every single staff member was phenomenal in my care. I am so incredibly grateful. I'm blessed.